Directly lift it up without a pause action. Let it become like the brush tip. This has a rather lovely name called Xuan Jin Shu Hanging Needle. This refers to a suspended swinging sewing needle. Below there is a pointed shape. Some students will ask, if this is the hanging needle shoe, then what shoe is this? It is called a dewdrop stroke. It's like a hanging dewdrop with a pause at the bottom. We can also see these kinds of curved shoe strokes. Left curved and right curved. Sometimes we can use the stroke to achieve a balance. Okay, that was the shoot stroke. Now we're going to study the next stroke, the go or hook stroke. Let's look at the typical go stroke. It must be written along with a hung or shoe stroke. This is written with a shoe stroke. Pause, press, then lift the brush. This is a shoe go stroke. As for the hung go stroke, it is written along with the hung stroke. Lift the brush upwards. It looks like a hung, but it is not. Flip the end of the stroke. This is a hung go stroke. There's also the xie go downward tilting stroke. Slant to this point. Pause. Return slightly to flip the brush upwards. This is a xie go stroke. Let's write a T stroke. What is a T stroke? It is like a hung stroke, but the right side slants slightly upwards. And you do not have a pause. This is a T stroke. Next is the pie stroke, which is a long pie, left curving stroke. Pause, press, move left. Let's slowly, slowly tip. This is a pie stroke. Let's look below at the last two strokes included in the yuan character. In the middle, there is a short pie stroke. It needs to be shorter than the long pie stroke. That's